Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, one of the things that I see all the time and that I read all the time about people going crazy over the amount of RAM or random access memory used by such and such program or Windows and it is interesting because a lot of people are under the impression or have the um, idea that you know we should be like in you know 1995 uh, not too much RAM usage and uh, try to have as much as possible and the problem is a lot of people have no understanding whatsoever why RAM actually needs to be used and it needs to be used as much as possible the uh, problem with RAM memory comes from the fact that in older days, um, in the you know Windows 95, 98, Windows XP era, one of the biggest problems is that a lot of PCs did not have enough RAM memory, and so people started you know trying to look at ways to prevent most programs from using RAM. Problem is, it's not a problem to have your memory usage high at all. You want it because that's how your PC stays fast. I still see today people having those, you know, memory um, software, those kind of optimizers. They are not only useless, they slow down your PC rather than make it faster. And they even can actually make your PC crash more often. They might be reasons why, for example, you're not getting updates or you're not getting the latest versions of Windows. They're totally useless. It is unnecessary. It is even a bad idea to use any RAM optimizer. I'll repeat it again because I get this question so often. Why is my computer using 60% of its RAM memory? Great. That's what you want. Stop thinking that you have to have low RAM usage. If your computer is constantly above 75, 80, 80, or 90 percent, that doesn't mean there's a problem with your PC. Of course, there are runaway processes that can happen. A bug in software uh, can actually make um, you know RAM usage suddenly higher than it should be. And um, one of the things that you got to know about this is that um, for the most part, if your PC is always running with more than about 75 or 80 percent RAM usage all the time. What it means is you just need more RAM memory. You don't need to optimize the usage of the RAM memory. Typical uh, computers today, I do recommend that the absolute minimum of RAM memory you have is at least 8 gigabytes. This today is the absolute minimum. If you see a computer or buy a computer with 4 gigs or less, don't wonder why your PC is slow. RAM is a big reason why your PC runs fast. And technically, we can say the more you have, the better it is, but it ain't always true. So 8 gigabytes, absolute minimum. You shouldn't go below that. And if you buy a computer, optimal 16 gigabytes today is perfect for most people with what they will do. And of course, for gamers or really you know memory-intensive uh, programs like, you know, if you do a lot of uh, uh, picture editing and Photoshop, stuff like that, then, of course, at least 16, even more better. If you have 32 gigabytes, perfect. Uh, but there's a limit where it doesn't get used and isn't useful anymore. For example, for standard users, if you just do every day-to-day -day stuff on the Internet, watch videos and stuff like that, Having more than 16, for the most part, for most people, is useless. You won't use it. Um, and if you have 32, of course it's fine. I mean, don't prevent yourself from buying a computer that has more if you want more. But remember that you'll be spending a lot of money for that extra that might not be used. So it all depends on the use of your PC. But expect that RAM to be used. You want it. That's how your PC is going to stay fast. That's how your PC is actually going to work the way you want. And if you have 4 gigabytes or less, do think about upgrading the RAM. Most computers today 
most, not all, but most actually have the possibility of being upgraded to more RAM memory. So do think about that and do not go crazy over the usage of memory of your PC. It's something you shouldn't worry about unless you don't have enough memory. Uh, like I said, if you have four gigabytes or less. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.